Right, this is a just a short video on um, how to fit a alternator to a TEA20. This is a 1956, I think. Um, <coughs> I've already fitted the alternator, but I'll walk you through what I've done. Um, I fitted an amp gauge, so I bought that on eBay. I fitted a new warning light. Um, that, as part of the, the wiring for the alternator, has to work. Um, so if you've got the old, ga the old light in there, make sure that it does work, because you've got to have a circuit there to excite the alternator. Alright, so to fit the alternator, um, you order a, an alternator from, uh, I got mine on eBay. Um, comes with instructions but they're not ter you know, terribly good uh, they don't go into all the modifications you've got to do which is not too great if you're a bit of a handyman um, I ordered a new belt as well so basically I ordered the belt alternator kit um, the amp gauge and the uh, new pilot light all from eBay, from different uh, dealers, most of them in Queensland. Uh, I'm down in Tassie at Carlton River, as you could see from the start of that. Beautiful spot, a bit damp today, but not bad. So, just to get into it, when you fit the um, fan belt, good luck with that, because uh, I had all sorts of trouble uh, getting the fan belt through that gap down there that I'm pointing at. Uh, you can see between the front of where the crank goes in and the front there, but I, I got it in eventually. Um, so the new belt fits, but when you try and fit the alternator up to the bracket um, with the new belt, the alternator won't go in far enough to get the belt on. So you've got this top bolt here. Um, the alternator swings in and it actually hits the front down Oops, sorry, down under there it hits the bracket, the front edge of this bracket and won't allow the alternator to go down to the block far enough um, so what I've had to do is modify that so you, if you take all of this off and take it over to the bench and bolt this up you can see where it hits and you can cut that piece out so what I've, I've, I've already done all of that but I'll show you the, so that's the Sorry about that, the compressor's just decided to cut in. Um, this is the piece I actually cut out with the, ang with the angle grinder. Um, the piece down here, where I'm tapping with my finger, that's the original mount hole for this alternator bracket. Right? So you've got to drill another hole in this bracket. The, the main bracket back further um, otherwise you can't get the adjustment anyway because as you can see um, I'll get you a good view of that as you can see the bolt here that adjusts the alternator is right back almost against the stop anyway so that the mounting bolt that's in there bit of bad lighting you can't see it really well I know um, actually used to go through that hole there I just drilled a hole further back. There is enough room in the bracket to make that. Also, um, when you uh, line it up originally uh, on the bracket, the belt is back here. So this bracket has actually got to move. I moved it forward 10 millimeters. The whole bracket, this bracket assembly moved it forward 10 millimeters so that the belt lines up otherwise um, the belt doesn't line up the, the pulley's way out of alignment with the other two and if I would have left it like that it would have chewed the side out of the belt and I'd have got pretty annoyed and had to start again so what I did to do that I have seen another video done by Queensland Tractors now what he did was he left the washer off under here, the spring washer, and he put a, a spacer in behind here, and I think from memory after watching his video, 
I think he come forward six or seven mils, so he put a six or seven mil spacer in between the the fan and the pulley, um, which which brought his back into alignment. What I've done though is I've left when I put the big pulley on, I left the spring washer on, I bolted, I put the nut back on, um, and what I've done is to move the alternator forward. Hang on a minute while I get a, a view of that. So you'll see up under here, uh, if I can find it, but up under here, up under the, the front, oh there it is over there, that one there, what I did was I, when I put the bracket on I put a, a 10mm spacer in there, because you've got a front bolt there that goes back through the uh, timing cover. Um, the bolt's still long enough to bolt up okay and what I've done is I've slotted this hole where it bolts up I slotted that I actually slotted that 13 mil um, here on the back I hope you can see this all right on the back of the mount I cut the back of the the uh, bracket out uh, and I cut it down that way and from the back hole as you can see there's the the edge of the back, the original hole, I just slotted it straight out so that the whole bracket could move forward. Um, when I put it together, I put the spacer in there, I bolted that up, and then I just did these two up. That brought the whole bracket forward. Um, the 10 millimeters I, I went forward, and as you can see, the, the pulleys line up all right. I could have went forward probably, it's probably, this is probably just a fraction too far forward. Eight or nine mil might have sufficed, but I went ten. Seems to work all right, lines up all right. Um, now the other thing uh, that I couldn't find a lot on it was the wiring. And when this alternator turns up, it just tells you to connect the two wires to terminals B positive and D positive or D whatever doesn't tell you on this alternator where they are um, but basically here you've got the wiring harness comes with a large spade terminal and a smaller spade terminal they just hook up there there's two large pins here at the back of the alternator and a small one so you just hook them up large terminal small terminal and then I just run the wiring back through um, and up so this this red wire here actually goes up to the amp gauge. This yellow wire here, I'll show you up the top in a minute, goes to the light. So we, we'll go back up the top, and and as you can see here, this one, this large red wire here, is the one that's coming from the alternator onto the back of the amp gauge here. And in here, you've got the back of the light, so. It, Get it to focus right that yellow wire is the one that comes from the alternator to the one side of the light the other side of the light that red wire there goes down to the ignition so when you turn the ignition on power comes up this wire through the light the light comes on goes out this yellow wire down to the alternator and excites the field in the alternator so the alternator works um, the other red wire coming up that I showed you connects to the amp gauge there. Uh, the other side of that, you can either run straight to the battery positive, or you can run it down to where it used to go, which is down onto the starter. The, can't get a real good picture in there. The starter switch there. Which is the same thing because the other wire that goes to it goes straight back to the battery anyway. So that makes your circuit. Um, I don't think I've missed anything. Um, so basically when you, when you start it up, or when you turn the key on, your red light should come on on the dash. Which excites, the, that's the power going to the alternator. That excites the alternator circuit. Uh, when you start the motor, that red light you'll see go go out, and you'll you'll show should show um, positive on the 
on the amp gauge. The amp gauge will come up on the positive side. If it happens to go to the negative um, with the engine running, all you've got to do is you've got them two wires there on the back of the amp gauge on the wrong way round. Just swap them over so that you're showing positive. Um, and as I said, that that if if you don't want to put an amp gauge in, um, that that wire there that comes up from the alternator, you can just put that either straight to battery positive, or you can run it to the starter switch down here, um, which is. Uh, went out of focus there the starter switch there which is the same as going to battery positive because there's a wire from there straight back um, to battery positive anyway so yeah, I think I've covered everything uh, if you get stuck just uh, ask me a question and I'll see if I can answer it for you anyway have a great day and uh, hope this helps someone out um, yeah see you around